Seattle at Dallas, Thursday night football. Dallas is an eight and a half point favorite. Look, the Seahawks have been truly awful since that Ravens game. Yeah. Really a lot of problems scoring points. Gino, I'm assuming he'll be a little bit healthier with the 10 days off since the Thanksgiving Day game. I can see why the number is what it is, uh, well, especially with what's that? It's only a week. Oh, that's it's right. It's only a Thursday. Week. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you better correct me because otherwise Bill is going to drop into my <laughs> God anyway, damn you, Bill. I am. Uh, so I can see why the number is what it is with yeah. Dallas blowing out and Seattle getting blown out. Normally, we'd want to fade the team that just did the blowing out. Yeah. But this Seattle, Seattle team shows no signs of life, and Dallas is in a spot that they love. Big favorites at home. Dak, 30-11-1 against the spread as a favorite of six points or more. And yeah, this, and this, then um, we talk coming to the season, I thought of all the teams that could have a step back because of the quarterback position, and we said it was Geno, just because yep. the second half of last year, when teams seemed like they kind of figured out Geno, they started struggling, the Seahawks. And this year, you know, some games will play well. I mean, they've had some big wins. They had that big win against Detroit. I think that went to overtime early in the season. And, you know, Gino was kind of getting away with it. We were like, you know what? Maybe he maybe he can overcome these teams scheming against him. And like you just said, he's really come back down to earth. I mean, last week, they were never in it against the 49ers. I mean, they had a pick six and they still lost by double digits. They were just um, – they're being outclassed and – uh that's kind of life when you have a guy who's good. Gino's good, but he's not that upper echelon. Like he's not a top 12 guy. And when you're playing these really good teams and these really good defenses, you kind of need that. And Dallas is a really good defense. So if this wasn't a Thursday, Chad, you know, I feel about Thursdays. Thursdays, I usually like the home team, especially chalk. Yeah. Um, I want to go Seahawks here and maybe I'll just wait. This could get to 10. I'm seeing a lot of books show nine and a half right now in the Seahawks. This, If this gets to 10, I would come on the Seahawks. But at eight and a half, the book Chad's looking at, I, I probably would go Dallas here if you want that number. I totally get it. But for me, I have no bet on this game. Probably just do another primetime under. I mean, I can't stop hitting these primetime unders, Chad. So, um, yeah, yeah if, you're, if you're looking for the easy, lazy bet, bet on the Dallas defense, go with the primetime under, I guess. What's the total on this game right now? I'm just trying to find that right now. I think it was like... Uh, by the way, the bet three six five is at nine right now, and the total on this game is forty six and a half. Yeah, I mean the problem is Dallas could run up the score. We saw what they did against Washington, and we're going to talk about the Commanders later in the show. It's a tricky one, a real tricky one. Yeah, kind of a pass all the way around. This could be a good night to, you know, watch a movie with your significant other. And tell them how much you love them instead of because you're watching, <laughs> you're doing that instead of watching football. 